Hey y'all, it's Kathy Bow and Kathy Bow's Crafting Show. Just waiting for a few folks to get on and we, y'all aren't going to, y'all, well, you'll believe it, but I mean, it's just kind of cool what we're doing today. But yeah, I'm fiddling with some things. Hey, hey, Teresa. Hey, Marilyn, Debbie. <laughs> hey, 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 Nyoka, Barbara. Hey, hey, thank y'all for hanging out on Kathy Bow's Crafting Show. Okay, well, we're just going to go down here because um, you guys are here. So I'm going to start by telling y'all, showing y'all what I got this weekend. Um, I went on a crafting retreat. I was so excited because, y'all, we've been home for a year. And my girls from Savannah, they're like my sisters, daughters. I mean, some of them are younger than me. But I'm just saying, I love these women so much. and and I was very eager to see them again. When I was gone um, on the crafting retreat, we went down on Thursday and we came, we, everybody went home on Monday. And all my friends are from the Savannah area. Um, Marilyn feels special with two Hayes. Hey, hey. So we, um, we just hung out and crafted from Thursday until Monday morning. I had to get on back, but, um, but yeah, y'all, it was great. So while we were gone, we were in Pine Mountain. It's a little town in Georgia that um, is near Callaway Gardens. That's kind of what it's known for. And President Roosevelt had a um, had a retreat there. We didn't stay in President Roosevelt's retreat, mm -mm. but we did stay in a sweet alpine cottage that we always stay in. So, y'all, I saw these tart pans, and my bestie Angela, um, she and I were shopping together. She came down to visit for the day. Uh, she didn't get to um, spend the whole time with us, but she came on Saturday. It was great. We had lunch, went shopping, all the girls. So anyway, these little metal tart pans, I showed them to her. Hey, Heather, yay, join me while I'm grocery shopping. Yay, thank you. So I went, um, Angela and I went to all these different stores together, and I, I asked her what was she looking for, and I know some of the things she loves, and she loves teas and things like that, so... Um, tea favors, you know, little um, little things to serve. And I asked her, did she want these? And she looked at them for a little while and she said she had so many already, she was going to pass them up. And I said, well, gosh, I love them. I don't know what to do with them. And she said, make these little, um, make these little, what are they called? Tart mold ornaments. Okay. So y'all, Pinterest. Oh my word. Pinterest has a ton of these. Now, one of these, I want to put my little baby bunnies in. Let me show you how I'm talking about doing it. I was going to do it for this one, but I've already come up with so many different designs I want to show y'all. But I'd put my little bunnies in it, and I've got kind of an Easter vintage bunny, really, um, theme going in my studio bath, and I kind of just want to, to put these like on something, you know, standing up, um, like this and have some little, I don't know what, I don't know what, but I'm going to decorate it. Okay. So one of them is going to the bunnies. All right. But we're going to go ahead and get started with, um, with the others. And yes, it is Christmas y'all. Oh, wait, back up. While we were there, I also found these. Hey, Candace, I'm so glad you're here. Yay. Um, I also found these. I love these things. I I probably would have bought five of them if I if they'd had them, but they only had these two. And I'm kind of fond of the colors. And basically, it's a it's a spool from a machine back in the day that would you know make things. Okay, I'm going to show you some pictures of um my vintage things. This is on my studio wall above my heat press that I use for t-shirts and stuff. This is, hey Cricket, yay, you're here. Um, I was just talking about Pine Mountain Cricket and Heather's here too. So this is on the wall of my studio above my heat press and a lot of this stuff was my mom and my grandma's and there is actually a uh, food stamp handbook and um, I asked my my cousins, and they said that my grandmother worked with the food stamp program there. So, because I was like, what, that's, you know, I didn't know that, you know. 
anyway, so those are all vintagey looking things. And then this, this is kind of an aerial shot, but I wanted y'all to be sure and see the little, the little fabric streamer thingy, banner, whatever you want to call it. Um, garland. Oh, Nyoka, I do too. I love, love, love it. This is my little collection of things that I love. And there's on that first shelf of that box, it says favorite favorites. And those are my absolute favorite um, laces. And some of them came from France when my husband and I visited um, France. And I don't know, it the, the little glass jar at the bottom left, that is full of little hankies. Um, you know, vintage um, handkerchiefs that belong to my mother. And oh, y'all, I just love it. Okay, now here's off topic, but I want y'all to know what we've been doing. Um, we have been watching a series called The Chosen. I'm telling you what, please, please, please look at it. It is amazing. It is so well done. It's, it is just one of the best, best stories about um, Jesus and and his life and his walk and his disciples and everything. It's it's very well done. Um, part of it is filmed at, um, it's like a little city, and it's near Salt Lake City in Utah. For some reason, I want to say Goshen. I don't know. Candace, isn't it wonderful? We love it, too. Um, I want to say Goshen, but the Mormons have created, like, um, a village, and they are, um, you know, they let people come in and film and stuff. And y'all, I mean, you're pretty much sure that all of it was filmed, you know, back in Jerusalem, right? Okay, so don't miss it. It's called The Chosen. Um, Marilyn says, I have it taped the best movie. Yes, it is. So y'all, I'm just going to be using this bauble. I went, I've got a, um, I've got a whole storage container about, I don't know, it's probably about eight to 10 inches deep. And it's full of my little Christmas um, bits and bobs, as they say in England, bits and bobs. And here's some of them. And yes, that says it's a boy, this little plastic thing. That again came from my mother. Hang on. My sister had a baby boy and mom did a baby shower. So it's a boy. That thing right there is probably 50 years old. And then I have this bag. I'm going to move everything into a box, y'all, because I don't like having the bags. And we are going to be using some of this garland here. This is from Hobby Lobby, the Hobby of the Lobby. <laughs> what I'm doing is cutting off these um, gold pine cones. You'll see. And then we've got some little bitty pine cones here. Just some I've collected along the way. And y'all, this is all stuff I had here. Um, I did not buy anything new except the little tart, uh, the little tart molds. And then I have this, which I think it is gorgeous. It's just beautiful. It's silver and it's got the big poinsettia on it and these little sprays. Love it. So those are some of the things we're going to be playing with. This is Mica Flakes from um, Stampin' Up! And they're very festive and, you know, Christmassy. So I might use some of those. I don't know. We're not going to use these. I just wanted to share them with you. Okay, so we'll go back to this little job we got going. And I'm just going to put a few beads on it. And let me tell y'all something. This little lid, it's nothing but just a little lid, y'all. Okay, I have used this every time I've crafted Today, it's going to hold my little beads, all right? I've got some fishing line that's very old, and it, I mean, look at that. This, this is pretty bad. I'm sure I snarked it from Ninja Man. It came from Kmart for $2.97, so it's probably 50 years old, too. All right, so we're just going to string a few beads on top of, I know you can't see me stringing them, but... Um, yeah, here we go. And that is probably going to need a little doodly do on the top of the ball because of the glue. I could have done that differently, but you see how it's going to lay on there? It's got, it's got little glue there. So we'll see. I can also heat it up and melt it, you know? Um, but yeah, and I want, I want to tell y'all a few things. Um, 
first of all, I will tell you, I am going to be working on doing a Kathy Bow Light, L-I-T-E. I may or may not keep that name. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's going to be um, videos that I do that I just kind of introduce the videos, say something stupid, you know, because <laughs> why not? I make everybody laugh. You know, I enjoy entertaining. Um, and then just fast forward the process. And this will only be for my card making right now. I mean, I think, I think that's what's, I mean, that's what I'm designing it to be for my Tuesday night live. Um, I'll probably, or maybe, maybe it's going to be in addition to Tuesday night live. I'm not sure yet. I'm still working out some of the kinks, but, but y'all, I love to teach. I love to laugh. I love to create. Um, and that is a, you know, that is a great way to uh, share that, especially during, you know, a pandemic, right? Are we still in a pandemic? It just doesn't feel like it. Um, so I'm going to be doing that. And the whole thing, will, I'm going to try and keep it down to three minutes. Now, we will see. We will see. But basically what it'll be when you go to my YouTube channel, or maybe I'll be posting them on Creatively Blessed, when you go there, you will be able to see a uh, a video in fast motion of card making with just music behind it. And I know that there is a need for that. Not everybody enjoys the chit chat. And, you know, I want to be able to uh, do things for, for those viewers as well. And I get it. You know, there's there's certain videos that I watch that I'm like, I just wish they wouldn't talk so much. And then I go, oh, my bad. <laughs> All right. So we put a few beads on here. All right. And now we're going to operate and see if we can get, get this flattened out a little bit. All I'm doing is heating up the glue. So, and maybe I'm burning my little fishing line. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I think it's going to be okay. Okay, so then we are going to put, I got a little knot in it, but that's not enough now, is it? We're just going to put a little bit of glue right there on the top of my fishing line to keep the beads from running away, right? Okay, so now we got our little beads. Let me put them back in there, back in here. And uh, this little thing is going to be our hanger, but I'm going to show you what we're going to do. I shows you. Okay, so... First, we're going to cut these guys off. As you can see, there's just a little wire. Um, yeah, you can see the wire right there. Okay. And I'm just going to go snip. Okay. And because I have two spools of this and I've had it for so long, it's getting a little crispy. Like these little leaves, they're, they're honest to goodness breaking. And I'm like, you know what? I need to use these in my crafts. So, okay. So we got those and we have a leaf. Here it is. We have a little leaf. Oh, let go, let go. See, it, it's a good plan when you, when you remember that you've glued the top down. Now, what I'll do to the top of this, I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to make it where we can hang it on the tree or, you know, from a thing. I don't know yet. And this is just, I don't know, it's just a little, pretty little ball. So I'm going to put this on it, the little leaf. Put the glue on the leaf. And we're going to glue it there. Y'all, I only have one gold leaf. Hey, Courtney, I'm so glad you're here. Y'all are so sweet to hang out with me today. I was here all by myself. Uh-oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, so Courtney, we're playing with these tart um, molds. And this one is the one we're working on right now. This one's going to be pretty fantastic, I do believe. Okay. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to use this to hang. I had already done this one and I wasn't sure about it. It's got, look at the little bells. They got little dingly things in them. Isn't that cute? And they move. I mean, you know, you can't really hear them. Um, Courtney, we're, well, oh, Courtney, you're going to love this because it's Christmas. That's right. Okay. So we are just going to work around this. We've got a little horn and it's old, 
old as can be. I don't even know. I don't even know how long I've had it. Um, I think I want to put my little, yeah, I want to put these guys in first. Can you tell I'm designing as we go? I've got a few here we're going to play with. So don't be sad if I finish one because we got more. All right, so here we go. We're going to put that there. We're going to put that one. Come on now. Come on, you can do that. There we go. We're going to put those two there. All right. So pretty. Oh, and this little thing, y'all, I had a bunch of these Victorian little, I don't even know. I, I cut them out of a calendar, I think, ages ago, the, the, in the 1980s. I promise you they're that old. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a, a one-inch punch. And I'll tell you this, when you use a punch and you have paper this thin, because it's super thin, you need to lay this paper on a piece of cardstock and then punch because otherwise it won't cut all the way through. So the thinnest paper is the strongest, basically, is what I'm telling you. Okay. So there's a little angel inside. See her? And she's sweet. So we're going to put another, another pine cone here. Um, did I not cut three? I thought I did. Oh, well. There. Oh, there he is. I picked him up. I just didn't see his gold stuff on him. Okay, so we have three little pine cones. Okay, and then, all right, we're going to put our little horn on here like this, I think. Or do we want to go? No, we probably, oh, I kind of like it going that way. We're going to do that. So I'm going to put a little glue here and maybe a little glue here. And we're just going to... And y'all, I'm telling you, everything in here is kind of found out of my out of my stash. Because I like to keep my Christmas stuff separate. And y'all are probably going, Kathy Bo, it's only April. Girl, let me tell you something. I do this all year long because there's there's this thing. Um I love, I love to craft, I love to create, I love to make things for my family that they will like and enjoy and, you know, keep. I mean, it's, it's hard these days with this generation. They, you know, they don't want to keep anything, but grandma's handmade ornaments, that might be a little different story. And I'll tell you too, I also, let me get this, figure out where I want to stick this down. I got to glue it this way, y'all. I also um, do them a calendar, an annual calendar thing that uh, that works. That usually has like uh, photos and stuff like a scrapbook calendar. Um, Courtney, Christmas crafting isn't all your thing. Yes, it is. It is. And don't even ask me about Christmas in July because it's off the charts, y'all. It's like it's like my job. I mean, I'm just like, oh, Christmas in July. People understand that. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I'm kind of thinking how sweet it would be to make ornaments for my grandkids, you know, to carry when they get older and maybe do it every year with Mama Bo's supplies. All right, so I'm going to put this angel again out of my scraps. I'm going to hook her to the top. and. I got to put her where you can still see her buddy over there, okay? So let's do this. I'm just going to put some glue like this. But I thought, you know, wouldn't it be kind of cool to make these for the grandkids to collect each year? And I have to make five. I got five grandkids. And, you know, then they'll have something from uh, Mama Bo, right? Handmade ornaments for your grands. Fabulous idea. Thank you, Barbara. And Barbara, that reminds me, um, y'all, I have a whole lot of um, uh, Christmas stamps and dies and doodly doos, um, you know, embellishments, stuff like that, from the cutesy to the um, to the faith base to the I don't even know, just just all kinds, uh, the whole all genre, and. I can totally make miniature things to go inside these. And there are bigger tart pans, y'all. There are bigger tart molds. There were 15 in this stack, and I paid $7 for 15 of them. And I don't know, maybe they're maybe they're on Amazon for $2. I have no idea. 
have no idea. I loved them and I got them. Okay, so we got that. Now we want this, okay? We want a hanger. Sorry, y'all couldn't see that. We want a hanger, okay? And I've, I've already made the hanger with the little bells. All I did was string, uh, I put a, a blob of glue at the end of my um, fishing line, and then I strung my little beads. Didn't take a minute because it's fishing line. It was real easy to string. Then I put these adorable little bells on, and then a bunch of beads so that it would hang like this. Okay, oops, sorry. It will hang like this. Um, Teresa, you could put a magnet on the back. Yes, you can. Yes, and I have tons of magnets, y'all. I'm like, you know, magnet city over here. And then I put on the other bell and then down there, and then I hit that with some uh, glue as well. So I'm thinking, I know I keep I keep holding it weird for y'all to see. I'm sorry. All right, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna squirt this on here. So I'm, you know, I'm just making somewhat vintage ornaments for my grandkids. That's that's what I'm planning. Um, so I'm putting this one down, and I want the the glues to meld together better. So I'm just gonna put this over it a little bit, okay? Just like this, and let that think about what it's done for just a minute. <laughs> And then I'm going to put the other one, I think, right there. Yep, right there. Okay, so I'm going to put my glue here. And, y'all, I will be looking for miniature things and bigger tart. Y'all, If y'all go to Pinterest and look up tart mold ornaments, you're, you're just going to be like, what? Yeah, yeah. So what I would do with this, I want some more something around here. So let's see what we've got. We've got, I'm, I'm stealing from another project over here. We've got this. That might be too much. Um, we've got this. No. I'm, I'm going to leave this because I do have some other projects planned. But this gives you an idea of just a beautiful little ornament and on the back I'll put something here in vinyl that says 2021 and this will be for one of my grandchildren and I will have made it and you know if they if they want to hang it on their tree when they grow up then that's what they can do um so there's one okay now we're going to do this one you know I showed you this um this uh pick I think they're called a pick and, <clears throat> excuse me, I've had this one for a long time. It's a, It's got a big poinsettia and these little fronds and leaves and stuff. So this one's going to be all silver. And I've already um, cut this poinsettia off and bent the little the little thing on it so it will fit down in here. Okay, so we're just, we're just going to glue it. We just... Oh, it went that way. We'll get another one. Hey, it's saying not today, lady. Not today. You're not going to hot glue this tart mold thingy, lady. All right, so I'm just going to stick this down in here and let it sit for just a sec. I mean, this one is super sweet, super simple, super easy. All right. Now, what I want are some silver beads, and I'll make a hanger. I'm going to be looking for some silver bells or silver other things. I'm not sure yet. But I'm going to put this along the edge like this. Okay, so let's, let's look at that. Let's see where we want to glue him. Boop, boop, boop. We'll start with this boop, boop. We'll start here with the boop, boops. Okay, we're just going to hold this down while it dries. Isn't that pretty? I mean, you got to figure, too, when you see the Christmas lights hitting this thing, it's going to be gorgeous. Gorgeous! So, yeah, so I'm going to be um, looking for little tart molds, bigger ones, and um, little miniature thingies, which I have a lot. I love miniatures, y'all. I, I really want, you know, a dollhouse and all this stuff, but I really don't have any place to put it. And, y'all, I have a camper... Now it is a legit toy. It's not it's not a collectible or anything. But I have a camper on my shelf up here and 
y'all, Ninja Man, we were in Target, and he goes, he goes, what do you want for your birthday? And of course, you know, my birthday had already passed, but anyway, I said, I want that camper. And it, and it has these little, um, these little bears and stuff that drive it. It's the, it's the little, it looks like a Jeep pulling a, uh, like a little Airstream camper and it's pink and yellow anyway. Um, yeah. So I said, I wanted that camper and he bought it because he has birthday grief every year. Yeah. But that's okay. That's okay. I have learned. I usually go shopping first thing at 12.01 after my birthday. <laughs> I do. I just go to Amazon.com and add to cart. Okay, so this one is done. I mean, that's all I'm going to do to it. And I'll put a hanger on it and boom. Courtney, you inspired me. I just made coffee. I'm having it. My favorite Christmas mug. Yay! Hey, I would have some Christmas music going, girl, if I could. But I can't have it with my with my live. Um, so, okay, we're going to put this one here. All right. I got, I got to be sure I'll put them in the right places. Here it comes. Ah, uh, let's do this one. Um, no, we'll do this one. All right. Um, oh, I got the birds too. Darn y'all. I'm so excited. Okay. So here we go. These again, were just off of some, um, some little sprigs over here. Let me see if I've got them. This bag full of of goodies here. Yeah, these came in there and I just whacked them off of their little things, right? So they fit a certain way. They they fit one way and not the other. I'll tell you that. So I got to figure that out before I stick them all in here. Okay, I think that'll do. And you know what? I may should be using, may should, is that a word? I may should be using E6000. I don't know how well the um, hot glue is going to do. And by the way, this has tape around it because um, glues tend to adhere their own lids to their to their um, things. So the tape just helps me to get it out. So I'm this one. I'm going to put E6000. And y'all, this this is a serious glue. If if you want something to be glued down and never come out again, you're going to use E6000. It's like my go-to glue. Okay, so we can just leave those guys because they're good and tight in there. They're not <laughs> They're not going anywhere. <laughs> okay, they are going somewhere. Please hold. All right, here we go. Here we go. I can do this. I can do it. Hold on. Whew, y'all. Y'all. Okay, it, you know, I've told you before, it's hard to be me. Don't try it. Do not try this at home. Just be you. Don't be me. All right, there we go. I'm just going to add some uh, some little hot glue just to insult these things that keep trying to scramble out after I say they're not going anywhere. Okay. I got these extra little beads here. Come on, 6,000. I'm going to put put him back over here. Y'all, one time when I was, um, oh, ages ago, I bought an iron bed, and I've got it over here in the EBR. But um, it's an iron bed, and I bought it at a, at an auction and ended up uh, sandblasting it so that I could paint it. We could paint it. So I had this sandblaster thing and y'all, when I got done, I mean, there was sand in places I didn't even know that sand could go. And my son-in-law called it the exfoli exfoliator 6000. Because my skin was as smooth as a baby's foot. <laughs> and I was like, no kidding. That was like the most ex exfoliating experience ever. Yep. Now, do I use a sandblaster? Not usually. But I'm just saying. Okay, y'all. So I put a couple extra beads in here. And they'll, they'll get solid when they're, when they're ready. When they're good and ready. This one's just not acting right. I got to put him back in. Please hold. All right, go in there. Oh, hot glue. Hot glue is the boss. Hot glue says, oh, yes, you will. See, E6000 says, yeah, you will. As soon as I dry, I come back tomorrow. We'll talk about it. Okay, I've even got this one, y'all, but I don't know if I'm going to add that or not. 
don't know if I want this one. He's kind of he's kind of bossy, isn't he? Look at him trying to take over everything. Okay, so we got that. Then we're going to put this little piece of wispy wispy wisp over here. Um, we're just gonna put that on there like that. And this might be where I decide to use the one with the bauble. The bits and bulbs. The bauble. Yeah, I'm going to have to put another one there. Okay. Uh-oh. What, what's in my tree over here? Oh, it's a little made in Taiwan. That's right. Courtney, thank you. That's super cute. Thank you, thank you. All right. So now I'm going to put... I am going to go ahead and put one of these guys. Because I think we need just another little something right there. Because, you know, um, you can see a little hole there. Come on now. Hold on, i got to figure out where I get him from. Oh, I see. He has friends. And, y'all, these these are real legit pine cones from, um, from the pine cone place in Taiwan. 1-800 um, Taiwanese pine cones. Yeah. Anyway, they're real live pine cones, and um, they will break. So, you know, we got to be sensitive to their needs. Teresa says pretty. Thank you. Isn't this sweet, y'all? I mean, just little, just little touches here and there. I'm going to keep going because I decided that we need more. Let me grab another. Y'all, I keep my glue sticks in an old wee yogurt jar, so they're all right here. Thank you, Barbara. So we're going to just um, put this glue stick in here. And some people say to... Uh, to heat up the end before you put it in because it will glue better attached to the... I don't even know. I don't know if it's true, but I try it now and then when I'm feeling sporty. All right. Okay, we're going to put this one... Um, I kind of think it needs to cover that because that one doesn't look healthy at all. It looks like he just got taken from the, from the reject pile. There we go. Ow. Okay, now the, the smart thing is not to touch the glue after you, you know, I'm just saying. All right, here we go, here we go. Oh, I'm, I'm going to tell you more about our crafting retreat, y'all. Okay, first of all, I love these ladies. Thank you, Barbara. She says it's too cute. Thank you. Y'all know I love these ladies. They are my, my, my homie G's, my girls. And we, we just have a group that is... It's just, it's just awesome. No, I mean, that's it. It's just awesome. I love them all. And we go down on a Thursday, and it's a little over an hour from where I live, and it's about, probably about four and a half hours from them in Savannah. And we all, we all get together, and we're just crafting, like paper crafting, sewing, um, some people have done, well, knitting. Um, one of the girls made the cutest pom-pom wreath. And she flew in from Texas, y'all. She came from Texas. And she, she comes, uh, with us. And anyway, she made the cutest, um, pom-pom wreath. And if y'all don't know what that is, go to Pinterest, look at pom-pom wreaths. Because, you know, now I need one. Um, and I think hers was for Christmas, but, um, yeah. And then we have, we have a friend that sews and y'all, she, she can make anything, anything. I mean, she just whips it up like it's nothing. And then, um, this time around, the rest of us were paper crafters. One of our friends who did not attend this time, she does, um, clay things, clay ornaments and stuff. Um, not ornaments, clay figures. Okay, so I'm going to quit on this one. Here it is. Janice, hey! Got to go finish emptying the camper. Thanks for the catalog. Oh, you're welcome, Janice. Love you. Um, yeah, anybody else who's here and you haven't commented, let me know you're here. Okay, this is another one and we'll put a little hanger on it, okay? So now we got three we've made. Look at this little guy. Now, this is a true-to-life vintage little Santa, all right? He is an ornament all by himself. So what I did, he has a pipe cleaner um, wreath around him, and this is his little hanger. I'm going to fold this down like this 
so he can come out a little more because I want to be sure that we see his little hat and his gun. I'm sorry. Not <laughs> Santa ain't playing. He ain't playing. I mean, what, yeah, what is that? If it's, if it's not, you know, if, if it's not a Glock, I don't know, but hey, Santa's, you know, he's coming. But now I've told you. Yay. Um, yeah, so we're going to put Santa and his Glock back in here in just a minute. We're, we glued this guy down. I don't even know what that is. I, Santa's been hanging around in some dark places, y'all. Okay, and then, oh, my six-year-old grandchild. They don't do Santa. None of my grandkids do Santa. And he came up to me when we were there two weeks ago, and he said, Grandma Bo, they call me Grandma Bo, y'all. He says, Grandma Bo, do you believe in Santa Claus? And I said, heck yeah. And he goes, he's not real. And I said, yes, he is. He goes, no. <laughs> and I said, Papa Bo believes in him too. He's like, he does? I said, heck yeah. I said, but I think we're bad because we don't get anything. And he just laughed. So he might know I'm pulling his chain. I don't know. But okay, so that was super simple, super fast. Yeah. <laughs> Marilyn says, looks great, perfect. Santa needs a gun too. I'm telling you, I mean, he's going down chimneys, y'all. He's going down chimneys. He might need, in case he surprises somebody, he might need to be, you know, where was I going to put this? Oh, I think I was going to put it on here. Hold on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I was going to do this, y'all. I was. I was going to do that. Let's do it. Let's do it real quick. I got to put this guy back in because he's acting up. That little pine cone right there, he got scared. He's like, no. Spent my whole life trying not to upset Santa. Now he's got a Glock. Oh, no. All right, I'm just going to glue this right here. Y'all, I'm sorry about teasing about Santa having a gun because, you know. But, I mean, I don't know what's in the man's hand. I looked at it, and I was like, what? I don't know. Who knows? Okay, here we go. <laughs> I just stuck that on top. There we go. And we've got a little hanger. We've got us a little hanger. If it'll let me hold it. Yep, there we go. All right, so that one's done. Then we have... The baby bird and the mama bird, okay? And, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to steal some of this, I think. I think, I think. Ah, good, that comes out pretty easily without too big a fight. Some of these picks, you can just pull things right off. You see the little things like that? Yeah, you can just pull them off. The last thing left on this are these um, leaves, and I just don't know if I'll ever use them. So, and I got more, so I'm just going to toss those. Um, these are pretty, pretty sad looking, but I'm going to see if I can fluff them a little bit. Oh, back to the crafting retreat. Yeah. So the way we do it is we have, we had seven ladies this time. Sometimes we have eight or maybe nine. I'm not sure. One of us typically um, will have a, a meal day, you know, where we cook a meal and and y'all, by the way, I have nests. I, oh, you know I've got a bird nest because I love little birds. But we're not using that right now. That's too expected and easy, right? Um, anyway, so we each cook a meal and we all, you know, help with the um, things that need to be done like dishes and stuff like that. And um, one group usually ends up going to the grocery store while we're there and... Um, because they drive, like I said, from Savannah, so they don't, you know, they don't bring a lot of stuff. You know, I could pick up all that stuff for them early. I think I'll, I'll tell them next time. Um, I didn't even think of that, but um, we're gonna let this dry for just a minute. And so one of them, typically, uh, two or three of them go and they go to the grocery store, and it's is probably about thirty minutes away in the next city. Because we're talking about, you know, this is Pine Mountain, Georgia. It's not mountains like like y'all would think up north, definitely not. It's really foothills compared to that. But they're all the mountains we got, you know. Um, when when we ordered mountains, that's what they sent. And we had already unpacked them and lost the invoice. So we're keeping them. But anyway, so, <laughs> so um, 
yeah, the we each cook a meal. We each clean or do whatever. And I mean, y'all, it's, it's just like a well-oiled machine. We just all get along so well. And I'm so blessed with these ladies in my life. All right, now we're going to put glue down on top of our grass, of our um, uh, evergreen, whatever this is, you know. And we're going to stick this little bird in here. Look at that. Isn't he sweet? Because Mama didn't have time to make a nest. And um, Daddy wasn't helping. Daddy did not help. So she's like, fine, I'm going to stick baby Boudreaux bird down here, and, and we're just going to have to deal. That's what happened. Now, this is the Mama bird um, and her little feet. Speaking of birds, y'all, every single time we go, there is a cardinal. He lives there. And we're in the cottage, right? And you'll see if you are friends with me on Facebook. Uh, Barbara, it is wonderful. It, it God has blessed us with some dear, dear friends. Um, if y'all are friends with me on Facebook, you will see. I'm just cutting the wires off his feet, setting him free. Um, you'll see the picture of all of us ladies. I don't think I have it where I can share it right now, but, um, but anyway, um, okay, y'all know my thing about wires, right? You never throw away wires like this ever, ever. I'm going to tape them up. I have to wrap them up and make sure they're not going to hurt anybody, animals or people or whatever, you know, when this thing ends up in the landfill. I just, I just don't like it to stab people. Teresa, I love going to Pine Mountain. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. And if, if y'all never heard of it, look up Callaway Gardens. And that is, um, I think I'm going to put her kind of at an angle. It's the Callaway Gardens, uh, Theodore Roosevelt State Park area. So, yeah. And downstairs in this particular cottage that we rent every time, um, there is a very large very accommodating crafting studio the whole basement area which it's not it's not even a basement it's the bottom floor um because out back we've got a sliding glass door and a porch but in the front of course it's underground so i don't know i don't know what you call that but anyway um it is um it's got everything plenty of room everybody's comfortable it's just great, y'all. It is just great. And we love it. And they've even got, um, they've even got like extra stuff. If you, if you didn't bring all your stuff, there's some stuff there for you. So I'm going to add more pine cones in here. I don't have, um, any more of the, the snowy looking ones that are cut. So I'm just going to do this. And y'all, I'm giving these to my grand littles. They're going to get them as a Christmas gift, and they're going to be like, why are you giving us these? And I'm going to tell the parents, you put these up for these kids. Put them on the tree. When you get home, there we go. What do you think? Marilyn, he was a deadbeat birdie dad. Yes, he was. He did not make the nest like he's supposed to. And the mama bird said, dude, it's in National Geographic that you're supposed to do this. And because um, she couldn't say your mama said you had to do it because he's not sure who his mama is. But anyway, she said, um, it's in National Geographic. You're supposed to make the dang nest. And he was like off chirping with his buds, you know, his homie G's. And um, yeah, so anyway, so this is our little bird. And I would like to put something in this beak right here. I don't know what, but let's look at all our, let's look at all our little crafty crafts. This was the easiest one. Just stuck them in there. Okay. And yes, I'm going to make hangers for everybody, but you know, not gonna, not gonna take a ton of time doing that today. I think this one is kind of like the bomb diggity one and I'll zoom in so y'all can see them a little closer. And, and here we go. Boom, boom, boom. What do you think? What do y'all think? And can you believe it just out of a little tart thing? Oh, y'all. And you can make a basket, like a handle, like, like this guy could be standing up if he, if he wasn't, you know, holding his Glock, he could be standing up and you can put a, a handle like this. So he's more like a, a basket, a worm for the baby bird. See, that would be that. Yes, that would be good. Although if you look at his eyes, uh Oh, so sorry. I didn't realize I was that close. Look at his eyes. Y'all, he looks like he's, he's already had a worm or two. 
<laughs> Candace said super cute. Thank you, guys. Thank you all so much. Um, we just put them all like this. It's kind of like a little wreath, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. So um, that's my story today. I'm sticking to it. I hope you enjoyed it. And we are going to be off and on making little Christmas things because um, I'm on a roll. I really want to make uh, a lot of ornaments for my grandchildren so that they will have them. Um, I know my mom and dad, you know, they had, I mean, I was born in 58. So, you know, do the math. They probably got ornaments or had ornaments from the 20s and 30s and 40s. Um, but I don't have any of those. And I wish I did. So I'm kind of on a hunt for those kind of things and some more of the little tart molds and I'm just having a ball with them. Um, Courtney, a bit of ribbon in his beak. Ooh, that would be beautiful. Yes, because what is she trying to do? She's trying to make a nest for her baby because that deadbeat daddy, you know, the deadbeat daddy took off. He And Santa's going after him with the Glock. That's what the story is right there. Santa's going after him. With his Glock. Yep. He's like, I'll find your bird. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for coming by. And um, be watching for my um, crafting shows on Thursdays at 1 o'clock. And my card making on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. I got some new things coming from Stampin' Up. We're about to start that new catalog on May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Anyway. <laughs> and we got a lot going on, guys. So love you all. Thank you so much for hanging out. God bless and toodles.